I have the first piece of my tabletop installed here, which is really good. It's actually kept the entire thing square, which is exactly what I was hoping it would do. It's forced it into shape, and I'll just have to keep checking every time I add a new board on. This cross piece here is a little bit interesting. I was a little bit worried about exactly how it's going to install it. Um, so the problem is I can't screw into the back of this, so I might end up having to get a metal bracket if it doesn't work out how I think it will. Uh, but um, this is just mostly to keep the boards even in this section so it doesn't sag in the middle there. So I'm screwing it down to every board, and I can screw it into the ends here, which I'll probably do. But it's just that that far end, uh, I just can't access it anymore. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do there. Uh, but I, I'm just going to build it the way it is and just keep adding boards across here and screwing into it. And just keep that clamp, uh, making sure it's in the right place. The other thing I've done is, you notice these holes that are drilled here. That are drilled and countersunk. Um, I'm doing this all by hand. I can't really pull out my generator here anyways. But I need a lot more control to make sure that the surface looks okay. There's enough inconsistency in the wood as it is. Uh, as you can see, just tightening this down a little bit and uh, it's basically counterboard itself <laughs> just slightly into the wood there. I'm doing this all by hand to make sure that it looks even and smooth because these screws are going to stay exposed like this. Hiding the screws uh, would have been possible, uh, but it would either be a lot more expensive using metal brackets or it would be a lot heavier if I was using pieces of wood to screw it from underneath. So this is the board that was bowed. I managed to squeeze it in so that for most of the length it's a really nice tight joint there. The only problem is right down here, there's still a little bit of a gap, but I can live with that, I think. I'm halfway done and it's supper time, so... I have the first four planks on here. With one exception is that screw. I'm going to have to remove this utensil basket to get at all the screws on this side of the table. The other thing I discovered is the table isn't completely vertical here, but I can make it vertical. I'm just pulling it up just a hair. And it actually straightens out the rest of the table as well. You can't really see it very well in here, but the leg of the table that's in the back corner there is sitting a little bit too low. Uh, whether that's a construction problem or a bus floor problem, I don't know. But I can always just shim up that one corner and then I can have a flat table again. Well, it's nighttime now. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I managed to get almost all the planks on. So you can see it's looking pretty good. A couple of interesting things that happened. Uh, this little spot here, there's a dip where that knot is. I don't know if you can see it from that direction. I only have two planks left, but they're going to have to wait. Because this 2x4 is sticking up against the 1x4 on the edge, so I can't quite get it to lay flat like I want. So I'm going to have to either maybe take the saw to it, or um, wait until I have some sandpaper and then uh, sand it down smooth. We'll see what happens. I'll probably try the saw first, um, but I just don't want to damage the 1x4 on the outside because that's the part that's visible.